Dr. Steiner, are there any useful sites that, um, that the audience could visit for more information? Yeah, I've listed several here, Todd, that I think can be really helpful. And these are ones that we can count on for reliable uh, results. Um, anything on the www.cancer.gov, that's the National Cancer Institute from the National Institutes of Health, anything on their sites is pretty darn accurate. Um, and you can see those listed there. Of course, the Susan G. Komen Foundation website has lots of general information, and that's good. There's a company called 23andMe that offers broader genetic testing. They do not offer the BRCA1 and 2 testing, and that's important for me to be aware, people to be aware of. But they do have a lot of information about the pros and cons. And finally, Kim gave me this great website here, the nsgc.org website, and that's the National Society of Genetic Counselors. And they are really, really helpful in helping you find one in your geographic area. Um, or, and some of them do have the opportunity to interact in other ways than face-to-face. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.